Welcome back to Suns Valley. Quick plug, Sundo and I are going to be on Bleacher Report Thursday, July 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be grading free agency so far. Now, yesterday, Sundo and I put out a video going over the best options for the Suns' final roster spot. Couple of quick notes. The Suns do now have a full roster. In fact, with the signing of Tumani Kamara, the Suns have 16 players and need to get down to 15. But there are still two players on the Suns roster that I think if you wave, you wouldn't even really notice they're gone. First, Isaiah Todd. I would love to see this kid grow his game in Phoenix, but I don't think he's going to get the nod over Tamani. Second one is Ish Wainwright. I understand that they signed him recently to a minimum, but considering the size and athleticism, as well as three-point shooting that the Suns have brought in this free agency already, I don't see when or where Ish is going to be needed to play. I can likely see both of them getting cut, and that would leave one roster spot open. There were quite a few of you that mentioned really wanting Dwight Howard, so I've taken a look into his situation. Also, Christian Wood from the Mavs, as apparently the Mavs are trying to re-sign him on a minimum contract. And if they can get him on a minimum, maybe the Suns can. Let's start with good old Superman Jr., because we all know Shaq's the real Superman. So Dwight averaged 23, 16, and 5 in Taiwan for the Leopards. And his season debut was 38 points, 25 rebounds, 4 blocks, and 9 assists. Crazy. This team was terrible, though, and he missed a third of the season. Unfortunately for Dwight, his team has decided to start paying players according to how much they're available. And so he's been offered a 65% reduced contract, and he's not happy about it. He played two-thirds of the season, but they still went 6-24 and in their 30-game season. Talk about load management. I know a lot of Suns fans are interested in him, but I ask you, should the Suns really pursue a 37-year-old center that's getting lowballed by a team in Taiwan? Seems like a red flag. Although, the last time he played with Frank Vogel, they won a title. So I do see the allure. And Dwight's departure from the Lakers was interesting. The Lakers offered him a contract and he asked them if he could have a little bit of time to think about it. And it was not long after that they pulled the offer and gave it to somebody else. He was heartbroken. As far as his play lately, it's just impossible to get a clear idea on how he'll play if he returns to the NBA. This competition he's going against is like me playing against fourth graders on a seven foot rim. He played really aggressive over there, but why wouldn't you when you know you can get whatever you want like it's NBA 2K on rookie mode. He's shooting and making middies with a terrible looking jumper, but I can't imagine he shoots those in the NBA when he never did before, probably because he didn't want the people in his home country to see how hideous his shooting form is. Now on to Christian Wood, and there's one reason I'm interested in the Suns pursuing him. The Suns had his rights before they gave him away, before anyone even realized that he was good. Now, it didn't work out in Dallas to the degree that they would have liked it to last season, but they are interested in having him back at a friendly price, so it couldn't have all been a complete disaster. I think most players will look better playing in an offense as potent as the Suns' offense should hypothetically be. Tell me in the comments if you're interested in either of these bigs, or if you'd rather just keep Todd and Wainwright. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time.